Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. It's another renovation day. If you are not following along on our live renovation updates, you can do so by heading over to our Instagram, Project Trek, where I have been doing stories about our renovation throughout this entire week. If you are following along, then you probably know that it is time to wrap up many of the projects that we've had going on and actually start decorating. And I'm really excited. I am headed out today to go and finish up decorating the kids' room. Now, it is gonna be a little challenging because we have two kids with very strong ideas on what they want their room to look like. So what we're going for is sort of this in-between. Now, Ella has said that she wants cactus, nature, outdoors. Okay, I can do that. Anderson says that he also wants outdoors, but he wants, he wants buffalo and moose. And he is wanting, I don't know, stuff to climb on, he said. So I don't know. We're in the middle of trying to work it all out. He wants something to climb on. And so we have some special projects going on in their rooms that are specific to them. And I can't wait to show you what they are. But first, let's go and see if we can get some decor. So when we're talking about decor, I like to use this concept and maybe it'll help. I don't know, it's helped me a lot. So the concept is that usually I will choose one anchor piece in a room and sort of decorate around that anchor piece. And I have a really cool rug that I found for the kids' room. And so I'm going to try and pull colors from the rug and try and make it a little custom for each of them. So there are a few really great places, in my opinion, to get great RV decor. Um, one place in particular is Amazon. Another place is Hobby Lobby. Um, Urban Outfitters is great. Target, I mean, that's heaven, right? Um, but those are some of my favorite places to grab things. And because Nate and I have lived in an RV for the last five years, as far as like decorations and things that are workable, we really have a pretty clear understanding of what will work and what needs to be like mounted down or Velcro down. And I will actually show you a little bit about what we do and what you can do um, to secure your items if you live in an RV. If you don't live in an RV, maybe you want to. And then in that case, the information's still helpful. <laughs> Either way, you'll like it. Um, yeah, so let's go into Hobby Lobby and see if they have some stuff. There are a lot of solutions for having items on open shelving. A lot of people will take down their items. Um, some of the smaller things though, I love mounting tape. Um, so I'm buying some mounting tape for the open shelving that's gonna be in the master, which I'm really excited to show you. Um, but the mounting tape will actually secure items really well um, and you shouldn't have to take them down. This would be great for things like vases, um, things that you wouldn't have to be able to remove frequently. So just keep that in mind. I cannot wait for you all to see the bed that Nate made for the kids. These are like bunk build outs that feature um, not only the beds, but the facings on them have actually been sort of routed and cut out so that they each have these really cool little features. Um, and then in the bunk room, we actually took out um, that weird refrigerator and drawer um, and we actually put in a small desk for Ella so I'm here getting stuff for that too. Okay so I think we've got it all and I'm looking forward to going home and putting the kids room together so they can finally see it. For the last six weeks while we've been working on the RV they have not seen their room because it's a surprise. So. I'm really excited to do a grand reveal today. There's just a few more details and then, and then we're gonna do it. I hope they love it. And I'm really looking forward to sharing their reaction with you. We are installing the framework to attach the face 
onto uh, the kids' beds. But before we do that, we have to install the platform that the mattress is going to be on. Um, in order to do that, we need to uh, we need to drill into something substantial because it's really just uh, press board and uh, sandwiched styrofoam walls. So I'm using the pinpoint metal detector that I use to locate the aluminum studs uh, to drill the hole for the washer dryer. I'm using it again to locate the, the metal so that we can drill in appropriately. The, uh, the custom fit mattresses came in. <clears throat> Turns out they're a little too big, so we're gonna put them on the bandsaw and cut down an inch on the uh, length and width so it's easier to tuck in the sheets. But other than that, uh, all it needs to happen is to put the face on there and those bunks are done. Uh, finish up some trim, trim work on the flooring and the flooring will be done. Hang up the mirrors and vanity and stuff in the kid's bathroom and that'll be done. And then that bunk room will be totally done. Oh my gosh, what a project. Here's a little sneak peek of the kid's room. It, uh, it was way harder than I thought it was. So much precision work. Um, <clears throat> those cuts, those interior cuts, those were crazy hard. Crazy hard. Uh, I don't ever want to do this again. Okay, all the pieces are uh, finished and painted uh, and ready for install tomorrow. It is 1 a.m. I don't know if you can see that. I am exhausted, but today was a very productive day. Um, we're gonna get the kids bunks done tomorrow. We can start putting stuff back in. That means all the rest of the flooring in the main living area and, and the master bedroom can be finished and the trim molding can go up. Oh, it's coming together. So before we put the facing onto the bunks, uh, we need to just do a little bit of detail work, like put on the uh, quarter round around the, the flooring. It was gonna be really tedious to make every angled cut at the, uh, at the compound saw inside the garage. So I just quickly whipped together this uh, miter jig it's got a 90, two opposing 45s and opposing 22.5 angled cuts. Um, just something really quick, I glued and stapled it together. That way I can just put the molding in here. Um, I've got a Japanese pull saw and I can just quickly make those cuts. Uh, you know, the tolerance is gonna be a little off, but nothing that can't be filled in with some uh, silicone.
We get one shot at this, so we gotta get it right. This is important because I took a long time to finish the surface and I don't want to mess it up. So we are just putting the final touches on their rooms like putting the sheets on the bed and stuff like that so we can show them. The kids have not seen their room in one just, month. <laughs> yeah, just a little over, maybe a couple days over a month. Um, and they have been chomping at the bit to see what we've done. I gotta say, we've done a pretty awesome job. Um, these kids are getting a pretty awesome room. Uh, we've made all kinds of stuff for them. Uh, so we're gonna show them and you at the same time kind of get their reactions on camera. Also, I want to say that this room is really well deserved because when we moved out of the fifth wheel and into the motor home, it was really, really hard on them. They lost a lot of space and I didn't even realize how much of like an emotional toll it took because it was their space. And so now I'm just really excited to kind of gift them something that they're going to be able to enjoy for a long time. Yeah, if you go take a look at the motorhome tour, you can see that their bunks were literally just bunk beds in a hallway. So they didn't actually have a room of their own. Now they've got a room of their own, plenty of floor space and, you know, toy storage of their own. It, they're going to enjoy it. Can I say one more thing or are you really hot? I'm really hot, but I want to say one more thing. And that is, um, if you are looking to renovate an RV, specifically a bunk room, I would want you to keep the future in mind. Uh, kids grow up and they grow up really, really fast. And the one thing that's really nice with this room is that we've thought about, you know, Ella as she gets older, Anderson as he gets older. Remember <laughs> that kids grow up really fast. And so if you can think about that when you're creating your bunk room and your design, it will last you a lot longer. Okay, so it's time and admittedly, I don't even want to be filming because I want to see their faces, but I also know, I also know that I'm gonna to want to capture this. So I think that it's time. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Let's look in the back. <gasps> Wait, who got these are pins, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so these are like pins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for your touch. <gasps> and, and then cactus pins? Yeah. <gasps> Do you see all the cactus stuff? Isn't that what you wanted? What are you thinking? Can we climb here for a minute? <laughs> Anderson, so this this Lego desk. Look. <gasps> you can bring it out here. So that you can work on stuff and then you can also put it back in your bed to work. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't oh my gosh, this is so cute, Mama! You love it? I love this! <laughs> What do you think? 
I love this cactus pillow. Wait, oh, you want? Mm. Ella, I got one of these. Look at mine. <laughs> this is your new room. What do you guys what think? Did you give me a, this is ours? This is your new room. <laughs> Forever? Yeah. You, your you haven't even seen your bathroom yet. I have. How come this place has cactus everything? Mm. Ella, is this also my place? I learned everything? So. Uh, this is kind of Ella's work area, but she's gonna have some crafting supplies. And oh, that could be in, my desk. And that is your desk. In my bed. In your bed. Wow, I love this place. I love it. How can I get such good parents? Thank you, mommy. Oh, I love it. You're, I love you you're so welcome. Do you really got? Do you guys really love it? Uh huh. Can we play in here? Yeah. Do you really sweet. love it? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> So this is our new home.